All right, Sassy Mom in the Metro Tech Kitchen joining us live here, and uh, we are finally doing something we can eat. Because <laughs> yes. I mean, last week was like potpourri. Oh, David. David's getting into the pasta that's right. not done. Raw anyway. pasta? Great. That was, oh, yeah. <laughs> that was a mistake. Well, we're going to have to it? check the dental program. <laughs> that's great. Wow. Okay. So you're making us, this is a great meal for a cold week. For a Perfect. cold week, and it can feed a lot of people inexpensively. So if you have family in for the mm -hmm. holidays, it's an easy thing to do. And it's quick, too, right? Quick, quick. Yeah. So I'm doing it in the Instant Pot, but you can do it in a slow cooker. It's the same method. All right. So all I've done is I'm browning up some of the onion, and I've got zucchini in here. How much faster is it in that versus a This will take pot? 30 minutes. Okay. A slow cooker will take three hours. Wow. That's there how much go. quicker. Yeah. Okay. That's really the story here today. That, there's the story, boys and girls. <laughs> I mean, I'm not trying to bury the lead, but that's the story. That's crazy. Yeah. So okay. what I've got here is one pound of Italian sausage. Okay. You stir that together, yeah. Carl. Then I'm going to put some frozen meatballs in there. I cut them in half. Do you let them defrost before you throw them in? No, or no, 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 it's really. okay. Doesn't okay. really matter. Doesn't yeah. really matter. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's All better. Right. So right. I'm going to put in two cups of water. Then we're going to put in one large can of crushed tomatoes. I'm going to be careful not to get your suits. Mm -hmm. There's all sorts of different kinds of tomatoes, too. There's stewed tomatoes, crushed tomatoes, but you say crushed tomatoes. I like crushed tomatoes. Okay. Then I'm going to put in some tomato sauce and a little squeeze of the tomato paste. <laughs> what's, what's, the, what's the paste doing here? What's the this paste is going to thicken it up a little bit and give okay. kind of a complexity what of is flavor. That? What is that you put in there? Or am I just... Tomato paste, just stir oh, okay. it together. Okay. Right. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. And then what we're going to do, this is a great little tip. So oh. sofrito is basically uh, minced onions, garlic, peppers, you know, all of the goodie that you need for Italian seasoning. I like to use sofrito. It's a little bit stronger than using this Italian seasoning. Italian seasoning, to me, a lot of times, is kind of missing the punch that yeah. this has. This has everything Italian hmm. seasoning has. And so. you find that the normal herb aisle? Yep, herb aisle. You can you just get it. There? Is that up yeah. there? I, yeah. This was sofrito. And then I'm going to add two cups. Sorry, I just want to see what this You're good. Like. Two cups of chicken stock to this. Okay. I'm going to put the lid on. When you're doing it in an Instant Pot, I'll go ahead and add the noodles. These are penne noodles, so you could use penne. They are good. Or you can use, <laughs> even yeah, better they are those. yummy. Or these are rigatoni. Raw. Rigatoni are oh, bigger. I like the rigatoni. So I'll throw the rigatoni in there and then come back in the next bit and I'll show you actually how we're gonna make the cheese kind of plop Ooh. that you put in afterwards. Nice. And then I'm gonna show you how to make it so easy. We're, we're gonna be down our next segment. This thing's gonna be I don't close. know. Okay. We're gonna be close. You said 30 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> and I'll hold you to it. And it's then, already smelling great, Karen. Thank you. You're welcome. All right.